I had pyro go off on my body once. If I wouldn't have been wearing a, a mask over my head, I would have burnt my face for sure. And I probably, if I wouldn't have been wearing in-ear monitors uh, that had some sort of uh, kind of filter in them, I probably would have really hurt my eardrums too. Uh, I was on fire, and it was all humans making mistakes. Number one, I went up on a song that we added last minute, and it, I forgot it was a pyro song. So I walked up, and, uh, but however, I would say, well, if, I, if you saw me walk up, why'd you light me up? We have ramps and things, and these are all things that are gonna get turned. Uh, and I would say from here to there, to the front here, okay, this is the, this is the Ouija board, okay? This is like the summonsing of all things that are important. It's 22 hours of fucking hell all day long. And it's two hours of whatever God you choose to praise. I have fallen on this stage. I have been lit up on this stage. I've been taken out on this stage. Uh, stitches, I mean, pulled groins. People have torn their ACLs. The lights, that's one thing I wish I could tell you. To me, as a performer, the lights are probably, I embrace the flames, they turn me on. It's like being at a kager, just getting to do shit we want to do. Like, let's blow shit up, it's awesome, I get to do that. 46 years old, I get to set things on fire. The lights, man, it's a depth thing. You could think you're five foot, and really you're a foot. That's how Chris Fane tore his ACL. He had been going up on the riser, drum riser, the same way on the same part of the song forever. And one day he was walking down the stairs of the riser and the strobes were going off in just a way that when he jumps, he usually knows where he's at, but this particular time he thought he had a couple more feet when he was in the air. And actually he landed earlier than he thought and it ripped his leg in half, he ripped his ACL right in half. It's just giant plethora of uh, watch where you're going, play your parts and, and do your job but love every minute of it and try to find some deep inner core that can let you mingle with all this death but you know, you're not going to get me on some Alaskan king crab ship I'm not going to last 10 minutes, they're going to say go do that wave, clown overboard caught in some rope straight to the bottom, fucking Burial at sea. I have no place out there.